Inspired by curiosity was this 200-foot mural dedicated at PS328 in New York City. Red Road to Mars was created by New York City art staff, interns, and volunteers. High five. High five. City Arts brings children and youth together with professional artists to create public art. Through this creative process, the children are addressing civic and social issues. They connect with the children in New York and around the world. This creative process transforms the communities and their own lives. Peace really involves uh, cooperation. So many people from so many different places and we can get along. My idea was to bring the voices of our children to the walls of New York, to be heard in all different ways, especially the visual way, through their ideas and through their paintings and drawings. I feel proud and happy because you still walk past here and just look at a bunch of dirt and everything. And now we paint and sun and people walk by and they be surprised and stuff and happy that they could look in here and look at something nice. In 2013, we are going to celebrate our 45th anniversary as City Arts Inc. And I'm kicking off my 25th anniversary with City Arts. The creative process actually starts in art workshops where kids are expressing their ideas and thoughts and they are creating their drawings, poems, or paintings. The artist then collects their ideas and their paintings and creates a maquette. And that maquette is going to be painted on the wall with our volunteers and the kids' participants in the project. Kids that start with us in the art workshops will continue to work with us on the mural for three, four, five months and sometimes even longer. So it looks like a very easy, spontaneous process, but a lot of planning goes into it. The time that we took, instead of going outside or selling drugs in the corner stuff, we took our time so we could put up the mural. Sometimes uh, in a mural or a mosaic, we take two years of planning and fundraising before the first brush goes on the wall. City Arts mostly works in the five boroughs of New York. However, with our program Young Minds Build Bridges that we started after 9-11, we reach out to the international community and connecting them we have already reached over 62 countries in creating Pieces for Peace project. Children from Kenya and from all over the world can network and they can know that they have a voice and they can express themselves. They don't necessarily have to stand on big platforms. They can just use the simple artistic way that they have uh, or the talents that they have to express themselves. This is the project where they create small artworks six by six inches, but these small artworks are like a mosaic of the global thinking of our youth right on the website. I think peace is when like, you can find a light where, around all this chaos and darkness and other problems, like you can find your place. So I think, so I've drawn this like, figure and it's found its light among like, the darkness, so that's peace to me. We went furthermore and created four mosaic peace walls, already one in Manhattan in Harlem, 300 foot mural that is now a backdrop to all the games of the community in the park. The second one in Israel with Arab and uh, Jewish kids. The third one we created in Pakistan, where youth took it upon themselves to create a peace wall while a lot of uh, fighting is going on around them. And the fourth in London, on the first anniversary of the riots. And we show them that we can come together in peace and give forgiveness 
and show love and this way to reach to each other. And it's nice to take part and do something for the community and for the kids to actually see the wall being prepared and then see experience the end result as well. So yeah, look forward. And this incredible mosaic peace wall there is acting like a backdrop to all their wonderful activities. The fifth one is a peace wall in Berlin in the Mitte area where runs the street of tolerance. Where else forgiveness is needed and peace than in Berlin? More than 50 years ago, the Berlin Wall divided the city. We as kids never experienced this wall of war, but our answer to this wall of war is a wall of peace. So this wall, our wall, should be the new Berlin Wall and people should connect the Berlin Wall to peace. One of my favorite activities is to walk around the city and to collect walls. And one of the walls that really caught my attention as a wall that needs treatment and the community that needs treatment is the one on Henry and Jackson Street. The amount of the contribution that, uh, that the art can do for a neighborhood is, 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 is subtle and yet it is also very pronounced. I was approached by city art people to do a project which uh, the city art believe will contribute to the growth of the neighborhood. And I thought that couldn't be a better idea. City arts is a great uh, vehicle within which is benefiting the community, helping improve the community. What's beautiful about city arts, murals and mosaic, all public art is graffiti free because when kids create, they do not destroy, but also the pride that they take in their artwork, what it contributes to them in terms of self-esteem, it constantly serves as a reminder that they did something wonderful for the community and for themselves. I want to think I did that. I did some of it. Now, with the help of Disney, we are ready for restoration of the wall simply because uh, the elements have worked on it. We hope not only to restore, but also recreate parts of it so the youth of today will have something to say in the mural as well. I'm excited about it because this is my first time and I think that and my mom is going to be surprised and happy and proud at me. I like to paint. There are millions of creative young minds around the world that are looking for a direction. It's our responsibility to give them a positive empowerment in building their futures, in building the world, not destroying it. I strongly believe that when kids create, they do not destroy. It's very easy for kids and youth to get involved with city arts. All they need to do is they want to be a part of it and desire to contribute to the community and to themselves and go through the process. Anybody can help city arts in all different ways. They can come and paint with us a mural or create a mosaic. They can bring volunteers. They can help assist schools or communities. And if the giving of time uh, is not possible, then they can always donate funds. City Arts today is in 62 countries with our Pieces for Peace project and connecting over 6,000 uh, youth and children around the world. I hope that in the future we will be able to be in all the 194 countries that UN represents and at least to do our 10th mural or mosaic for peace around the world. Thank you.